Hello and welcome. I'm Ami Kassar, founder and CEO of Multifunding. I'm so happy to be here with Jessica Fiakovich of Transform Business Advisors out of Denver and Dallas. She's our partner. Jessica, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. It's great to see you both, Ami and Joe. And also my colleague, Joe McClear, who leads our business acquisitions practice for SBA financing at Multifunding. So, I just would love to have the two of you chat for a few minutes about the work you've done over the past year, how it's gone, and what you've learned together. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, uh, Ami, you and I originally met through an organization called EO, or Entrepreneurs Organization, and that was, wow, it, probably two or three years ago from now. Um, but since then, we've done a bunch of deals. Joe, you've been integral in working with our team. And all, I mean, it really have become the go-to resource in terms of loans to get the business acquisitions done. Thank you, Jessica. It's been really great being a go-to resource for uh, all your brokers there at Transworld. I've thoroughly enjoyed working closely with uh, each advisor um, and building a nice relationship with them, as well as providing uh, ongoing education as it relates to their opportunities and uh, what may or may not be financeable or, or what makes a given opportunity financeable. Uh, and I think that as we continue to work together uh, and build on these relationships, it's only gonna mean more success uh, for Transworld and, and for multi-funding collectively. And I'm greatly looking forward to that. So Joe, can you please tell us some of the tricks of the trade? to help a transfer business broker get a loan financed? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think one of the biggest uh, tricks to the trade here um, is to first and foremost, understand what makes a business lendable, right? Or financeable with, uh, with an SBA loan. And they're not all going to be, um, they're not all going to be financeable, but if you can understand uh, the metrics behind uh, the historical financials and performance of a business, um, uh, you can quickly understand whether it's going to be a fit uh, for a buyer to utilize SBA finance. And I think that's one of the things that um, Transworld has a pretty darn good understanding of. Uh, in my experience working with them, uh, I've been delighted to see that um, their brokers, their advisors uh, seem to uh, have a good uh, understanding of uh, where to price opportunities uh, as it relates to the ability to finance them. Um, and that certainly is a tremendous start. Uh, and then we just kind of build on things from there um, and uh, dig into uh, dig into the backbones and, and uh, uh, the business altogether. Uh, and, and work collectively and proactively to, uh, to try to make a loan come together. And a, another area where Transworld and the brokers have just been tremendous. Um, I've been blown away at how hands-on uh, the experience is from both sides of the transaction. It's really made my experience uh, that much easier, something I don't often experience with many of the brokers I work with. It's not simply a handoff. Um, it's a lot of ongoing education through the process, a lot of teamwork, a lot of tremendous communication uh, and transparency. And uh, certainly that is something that is making um, bringing financing together to help purchase a business that much easier. And I really do commend uh, your team there, Jessica, and uh, the Transworld folks for um, having such a good uh, uh, background and understanding and uh, a tremendous process, um, which allows us to create success on the financing side of getting these acquisitions done. Jessica, can you maybe just share with us, you know, typically, uh, most brokers go directly to the lender and we, we, we add a layer in between it. How's that work for you and has it been helpful? It's actually been more helpful. It's funny when Joe is talking, like a lot of the things that say he is working on his side is working on us, right? On our side too with multifunding. Because sometimes when we're working directly with a lender, we feel like our communications go into a black hole or this chain of bureaucracy. And we, we don't feel like we have any control over the deal once we hand it over to the lenders. Um, and the relationship we've developed with Joe has been very transparent we worked together very closely so um, it does add another layer but it actually makes the process a lot easier 
um, because Joe's the expert in knowing which bank or which lender is going to finance the deal. And we're working as a team to make sure that the deal ends up in the right spot. But with the communication back and forth and, you know, um, Joe's jumped on and done education calls with our brokers too about like certain aspects of SBA funding. It's just been a really good dynamic relationship of we feel like it's just an extension of our team helping get this deal done versus going straight to a lender where you literally don't know if the deal is going to close sometimes because you have very little control as a broker in that process. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you, Joe, for sharing some of your thoughts with us today. And we're so excited to continue to build our relationship with Transworld around the country. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.